what's up what's going on guys this is mr gold and today i am with with my good friend i dog say hi i dog uh oh <laughs> and, and today hey we are going to be doing grading every nfl team's draft class mm -hmm. but today it'll be the afc east and the afc north let's get into the video And we're back. Hope you guys liked that intro, but let's just hop right into it. So the first team we're going to be talking about is, I try to do it best in alphabetical order, so the first team in the AFC West, according to the alphabetical order, would be the Buffalo Bills. The Buffalo Bills. And the their Bills. first pick, they did not have the first round pick, Oof. but they took, def in the second round, with the 54th selection, they took defensive end AJ Epinesa. Good pick. He's from Iowa. I really like this move. Um because I thought this dude was a, sh a surefire first rounder. I thought the Patriots were going to get him. I feel like that's what most um, mock drafts thought uh, about him, was that he was a surefire first rounder, but he fell all the way to the 54th pick, and the Bills got a steal. So, And then, I won't be grading every player individually. I'll be grading the draft class itself. So let's just go over about Jake Fromm. Uh, just a minute, we're not to Jake Fromm yet. With their third round selection, they took Zach Moss, a running back out of Utah, to pair with Devin Singletary as two very young running backs on that lineup. They needed a running back, too. Did they, did they have Frank Gore last year? Yes, they had Frank Gore last year. He's now on a different team that we'll be as talking usual. about later today. Obviously, he's going to play till he's 50. On but teams every year. this dude was easily credited as one of the best running backs in the draft, and I think they got another steal here. That's a really good move. Um, in the fourth round, they took wide receiver Gabriel Davis. That's definitely a good move. Um, he's a pretty good wide receiver. Mm -hmm. In the fifth round, they got Jake Fromm, which I thought he fell way further than he should have. But wow, I mean, like he should not have been signed by the. Then he'll be backing up Josh Allen and probably I don't know where Matt Barkley will be, but but like yeah, that's definitely a good move. Then they took. Is it though? So you thing, why would you draft a fifth round if you've got a young quarterback in Josh? Allen. Well, at the very worst, this dude becomes Josh Rosen, and you just have to trade him for a pick. So, like, it's not, it's definitely a good move, and he's a good player. And if you get that much talent in the fifth round, you have to take it. Then, there's kicker Tyler Bass, wide receiver Isaiah Hodgins, and cornerback Dane Jackson. I personally really like this draft class, and I'm going to give it an A+, plus, actually. Ooh, I really that's like it. Bad. That's the first that's A+, plus I've given, but I think they got a lot of value for their picks. I'd personally give it a C plus. What? Just because the first AJ picks were pretty good, but then when they drafted Jake Fromm, and the kicker was terrible. Well, as well. what's not to like about and Fromm? Because well, I like Fromm. It's just that they didn't need to draft him. They have Josh Allen, who's a star quarterback, who ran to the wild card, and they just drafted him. I mean, I don't know. I kind of think that it was necessary, but alrighty. Well, let's go ahead and get into the next team, which I believe alphabetically is the uh, Miami Dolphins. Are you doing and team alphabetically or are doing city alphabetically? Uh, I guess it'd be city. I bet. And so it'll be uh, with their first round, with one of their first round picks, they took Tua Tagovailoa. Pretty good, pretty good pick. Quarterback from Alabama. He'll be their future. Ryan Fitzpatrick will help mentor him. And Josh Rosen will get thrown on the curb again. Then we got Austin Jackson. He's a tackle from... Uh, Miami, I guess. And everybody, don't forget about Jake Reddick. Jake Reddick, what about? As well on the Miami is Reddick Dolphins even on the right roster now. anymore? I don't know. He was on the practice squad. I don't think he's Never on. Never forget about him. I don't though. think he's on the roster anymore. But he's a star study uh, Jackson, I think, is a probably a good pick. And then there's Noah Igbino Gahin. Igbino Gahin. He's from a corner from Auburn. He apparently is a good corner. Corners were drafted very heavily in the first round, as we'll see later on 
in this video, but definitely a good move there. There's Robert Hunt, an offensive lineman from Louisiana. Raquan Davis, a defensive lineman from Alabama. Brandon Jones, a safety from Texas. Solomon Kindley, an offensive lineman from Georgia. Jason Strobridge, a defensive tackle from New University of North Carolina. I thought that was a good steal there. Um, as was this, Curtis Weaver, defensive end from Boise State. I thought that was a steal. Um, Blake Ferguson, long snapper from LSU. Malcolm Perry, wide receiver, wait, running did, back wait, wait, from wait, Navy. Who dropped two drafts a long snapper? <laughs> the thought, Miami you Dolphins. you just put someone on your team at long snapper? Why would you actually draft them? Well, the Miami Dolphins are And also, cool. they drafted some guy from Navy. Yes, Malcolm Which Perry. means, did he serve time in the United States? He may have, Military? Yes. But... I actually like this one. I'm giving it a B plus. I think it's pretty solid. I think t I think Tagovailoa was the better pick over Herbert, so that's what it I'm going to say. It was solid. I'd give it a B. I think it was solid. Okay, and then for the next team in alphabetical order, it is the New England... Down, buddy. Yeah, you're right here. New England Patriots. And with their first pick, which was in the second round, they took safety Kyle Duggar. And not a quarterback. <laughs> from Lenore Ryan. Uh... So that that was, but then I liked this pick at their uh, other second round pick. They took Josh Yush, a linebacker from Michigan. Oh wait, can we also just recognize really that they like drafted it. a player from the Division Two? With the yeah, Leno Ryan. He is the best Division Two player to be drafted in a long time. Then with their third round pick, they took Afrini Jennings from Alabama. I like that. I'm gonna name my kid Afrini. They also took Devin Asai, Asai, a tight end, a tight end from UCLA. Dalton Keene, a tight end. From Why would Virginia they draft Tech. two straight tight ends? Uh, J Justin Rohrwasser from Marshall. He's a kicker and a Nazi. I, was, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He had some sort of tattoo on him. I don't know the whole story. But they took Michael Unwenhu, a guard from Michigan. Justin Hernan, a tackle from Wake Forest. Cash Mulea. No, Cash No, it's Cash Mula. <laughs> Maluia, a linebacker from Wyoming. No, everybody, you need Dustin to say it's Cash Mula. Cash Mula, okay, whatever. And then Dustin Woodard, a center from Memphis. I don't necessarily like this a lot. I nah. think Asai Asai was not a bad pick. I think Yush and Jennings were pretty good. We're also not going to recognize that none of these players are from Hawaii when their names sound like they should be. Yeah, I guess so. I give this a C minus. I give this a, a draft. I give it a B. I don't think it's horrible. Then they didn't draft a quarterback. For the final team in the NFC East, we have the New York Jets, and with their first round pick, they took Mekhi Becton, a tackle from Louisville, who was very hyped up. Solid, solid. Uh, they took Denzel Mims, a wide receiver from Baylor. He'll definitely help out that wide receiver core that has virtually no one at the moment. They took sa safety Ashton Davis from Cal. They took um, defensive end Jabari Zuniga from Florida. They took running back Michael Perrine. I believe he is the younger brother of Sanjay Perrine, who you might know. He's, okay, running back from Florida. They took quarterback James, James Morgan. Morgan. Florida, Inter Florida International. New starting quarterback there. Probably. Him and Joe Flacco. Cameron Clark, offensive tackle from Charlotte. This is, in my opinion, one of the biggest steals in the entire draft. In the fifth round, they managed to snag Bryce Hall, a corner from Virginia. I thought that was absolutely amazing. And then, with their sixth round pick, they took punter Brandon Mann. Yo, they got Brandon Mann? Yeah, he was No way, as, that's a huge steal! He was known as <laughs> one of the better punters in the draft, but I actually like this. I'm going to give pretty it good. A minus just for that Bryce I'll Hall I'll give it pick. a B. A B. Decent. But definitely like that, liking that one there. Then we're gonna move on to the Blast AFC team. North. And Wait, did we do all four teams? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we did the Bills, Patriots, Jets, and Dolphins. Mm -hmm. Yes, we did. And then now we're gonna move on to the AFC North, and the first team for them is gonna be the Baltimore Ravens. And they got projected early first round pick, but he fell into the first round. It's linebacker Patrick, Patrick Queen from LSU. And then somehow they managed to snag J.K. Dobbins. Yep, Dobbins. Yeah, they needed him too. Him and DeAndre Swift were battling for the best running back in the draft. He's from Ohio State. He's amazing. Then they got Justin Mataboy, Mataboy K. I, I can't pronounce it. He's a defensive tackle from Texas A&M. He's very good. And they got Devin Duvernay, a wide receiver from Texas. He's pretty solid. Malik Harrison, a linebacker from Ohio State. I like that pick. Oof. They got Tyre Phillips, an offensive lineman from Michigan. Who names your kid Tyre? I just want to know right now. It might be Tyree. I don't know. 
Uh, ben Bredson, I like this pick. He's a guard from Michigan. Broderick Washington Jr., a defensive tackle from Texas Tech. James Proche, a wide receiver from SMU. I like that pick. And Geno Stone, a safety from Iowa. I really like this draft. <laughs> Sorry about I dog sneezing. I'm, I'm gonna give this an A because Patrick Queen and J.K. Dobbins and Justin Matabuike are I like, definitely I like very James, good. I like James Porsche. Porsche is pretty good back there, but I'm gonna give it an A. How about you, I dog? I like B minus. B minus. Okay. But Patrick Queen and J.K. Dobbins. I feel like J.K. Dobbins was the more known running back than Swift. So. Yeah. But now we're gonna move on to the Cincinnati Bengals Oof. and their first pick was Joe, Joe Burrow, Burrow, a quarterback from LSU. Also overhyped. Okay, I guess. I don't know. But T. they Higgins. took T. Higgins, a wide receiver from Clemson. Which was awesome. Logan Wilson, a linebacker from Wyoming. Ooh. He was one of my studs of the draft. He is very good. Then Akeem Davis Gaither, an offensive outside linebacker from Appalachian State. Khalid Kareem, a defensive end from Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Hakeem Adin Ajay, a tackle from Kansas, and Marcus Bailey, Is a Khalid linebacker. Khalid Kareem a Catholic? I, he's from Notre Dame, I don't know. Mm. And Marcus Bailey, a linebacker from Purdue. Purdue. I think the top three picks that they made were very good. Davis Gaither is not too bad, and Kareem should help out that defensive line. They're still going to take they're Thank still, they're still, <laughs> no, Joe Burrow will be no, their future. Gonna take the <laughs> five wins. They get five wins, and I give their draft a B plus. I give it a C. Wow, you are going low I, on everything. I just everything. don't think that draft is that good. They could have gotten better. I mean, I like their first two seconds, so I'll give it a C plus, but the other ones just weren't good. Well, then for the Cleveland Browns, we have Jedrick Wills, a tackle in their first in the first round. Grant Delpit, a safety in the second round. Oh, Grant I, Delpit, he was a good I, I thought that was a steal there. Jordan Elliott, linebacker from Missouri. Jacob Phillips, linebacker from LSU. Harrison Bryant, one of the better tight ends, but kind of underestimated because of his size. He's a tight end from Florida Atlantic. Nick Harris, center from Washington. And Donovan Peoples-Jones, a wide receiver from Michigan. And I thought this solid. it's like a meh draft. It's solid. They grabbed some things that they needed. They got a linebacker after losing guys such as I believe they lost Grant Chris, Delpit. They lost Joe Sherbert and Christian Kirksey. Wait, Joe Sherbert? Schobert. Schobert. They lost both of them, so drafting two linebackers was the right decision. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a B. I'll give it a B as well. And then for the final team that we are going to be talking about today. It is the Pittsburgh Steelers, who did not have a selection until the second round, but with that selection, they took Chase, Chase Claypool, a wide receiver from Notre Dame. They also took Alex Highsmith, an outside linebacker from Charlotte. Anthony McFarlane Jr., a running back from Maryland, and I like that dude. Kevin Dotson, a guard from Louisiana. Antone Brooks Jr., a safety from Maryland. And Carlos Davis, a defensive tackle from Nebraska. No, that wasn't a good draft. So they only drafted six players. That was not a good draft. And I didn't necessarily like the mid. Not a lot of big names. I got a, a lot of guys that could have some production, but this might end up being a bust draft right here. I'll go ahead and give it a B minus. C minus. But thank you guys so much for watching, and yes. don't forget to like and subscribe. And follow me on Twitter at IDOG11, and Instagram is IDOGYT.